1993, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, gave permission for the Monsanto Corporation to market recombinant bovine growth hormone. Recombinant bovine growth hormone, also known as RBGH, is a genetically engineered hormone that is injected into dairy cows to make them produce more milk. In 1990, the FDA had declared RBGH was safe for human consumption. The presence of RBGH in the cow's blood causes an increased production of another hormone called insulin-like growth factor 1, also known as IGF-1. IGF-1 is directly responsible for increasing milk production. Along with increased milk production, IGF-1 also causes mastitis in the dairy cows. Mastitis is a painful infection of the udders that causes them to swell. Pus from the infection is then transferred into the milk. The cows are then treated with antibiotics, which also end up in the milk. RBGH promoters try to downplay the seriousness of the IGF-1 levels in RGHB-treated cows by emphasizing it is a naturally occurring hormone in cows and humans. It affects cell growth and is responsible for the quick growth of infants. What they do not include is the effect increased IGF-1 levels can have. Rapid cell growth and differentiation in non-infants is proven to be responsible for tumor establishment and maintenance. In essence, when IGF-1 tainted milk is consumed, it acts as a cancer accelerator. In Canada, we, unlike the United States, uh, FDA, we do not actually test any product here in Canada. We take the company's word for it, but the companies by law, under the law, have to uh, submit research data produced by them to Health Canada. So it's the company's responsibility to submit uh, the data. Monsanto then turned to other countries, including Canada, to market RBGH. Canadian government scientists, including Dr. Shiv Chobra and Margaret Hayden, were not convinced by the 90-day rat feeding study. In 1998, the scientists reported the FDA had not conducted the required long-term toxicology studies to establish human safety. Hence, such possibilities and potentials as sterility, infertility, birth defects, cancer, and immunological disorders were not addressed. My question to myself was, what truth am I going to tell the one I know or the what the minister is telling me to tell? I would ask each one of you, have everyone, any one of you been uh, lobbied by Monsanto? Any one of you? Uh, and Monsanto representatives had met with uh, myself and my uh, supervisor, Dr. Drennan, and my director, Dr. Messier. And at that meeting, uh, an offer of one to two million dollars was made uh, by the company. And, been pressured and coerced to pass drugs of questionable safety, including the RBST. I personally was very concerned that there's a very serious problem of secrecy, conspiracy, and uh, things of that nature, uh, and something needs to be done. Closer to him, and I saw less and less of the data. Even the things I had asked for to be done, I didn't like the mastitis studies. I never really got to see a lot of that because they figured, well, if you're in the way, we'll get you out of the way. You know, they sidetracked me. Eventually, I was fired. One day, I was escorted to the door and told that was it. I was, I was done. Yes, um, mainly by the lawyer for Monsanto, because when I was going for my appeal, they told my lawyer that if I went in and revealed any company secrets in my defense, that they would sue me. Okay. 
So right now we're inside Save All Foods. We're trying to look at some of the products that we use every day. Available for purchase and save on such as our meats and dairies. With stuff like this, like where does it, is there any hormones or anything in it? Regular chicken. Yes, yeah. regular chicken. I mean if you want like hormone free and all yeah. that stuff like organic frozen. Well it has to be organic and frozen if it's uh, hormone free. Yeah, otherwise not this is just regular. It's regular. just regular it's chicken. Not so you're saying this I guess would contain some hormone. Yeah, you never know. Never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Okay. okay. It's organic free range and stuff like that. So it's probably more expensive though. Yes. So you actually So if you want to eat healthy, you have to pay a lot more. Yes. <laughs> that makes sense. This research left a bad taste in our mouth. Our government seems to be more concerned about appealing to industries and money-making ventures than it is with the health of our population. How are companies so concerned with conveying their products are sugar-free, gluten-free, or heart-healthy, and they're not simply adding 100% Canadian cow symbols? Why are they on some products and not others? And what about USA inspected products? What standards are they held to? The answer to these questions? local supermarkets where they get their products from and if they contain genetically engineered substances. Research where you can get hormone-free products in your local community and what do the signs and symbols mean. Support local farmers markets. They supply meats, dairies, and seafood products that are byproduct free and focus on animal welfare and responsible and sustainable practices. Be more aware of what may be in your foods. Just because they are purchased in Canada does not mean they won't contain any American ingredients.